Hello, happy DIYers and woodworkers. Manna here with Heartwood Art, and this is part four of our pallet board crate build. In part one, we took our measurements and we cut our plywood for the top and bottom. In part two, we added the rails to the top and bottom plywood. In part three, we added the upright supports and did a little sanding. And in part four today, we'll be adding the slats to the side and the back. And I'll show you why I decided to hinge the door on the side instead of the bottom. So let's get started. Now when I first started this project, I thought my dog would use the door as a ramp into the kennel. So I hinged it on the bottom. But here you can see why I had to change my mind about that. Uh, he was uh, a rescue dog, and I think he was crated before I got him. And so this is not really that big of a stretch uh, for him. You want to go back in there? Would you go back in there for me? Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. So, okay, so he doesn't like the door. I'm now, because I already had the slats added, I just fudged on how I eventually mounted the door with side hinges. The slat ends don't meet the same as they did originally on that side. So think through this part of your build with which slats overlap before you do the build. However, I am going to show you the videos so you can see the tricks I used to mark the slats. Okay, here's where things get a little tricky. As you can see, I've got the stretchers on the back for it, and this is old pallet wood, so none of it's going to be exactly the same, you know, with your spacing. I gave myself two inches at the top, two inches at the bottom, and split it in the middle. So it gets a little tricky because we've got to do our side and match to our door. If you want it to look decent at all, of course, you don't have to do that. So here's the trick. I'm going to turn this over, and here's our side piece. And what I've decided to do here is match overlap what's on the back now it's actually not going to be attached to this board back here it's going to be attached to the two by two but i want it to be dead even across there so what i'm going to do is clamp that in place and then take a measurement and see how far it is should be two inches right I'll look for that. Yep, two inches. And then I'm going to look for two inches over here to make sure I'm fairly square on that. And then clamp that one into place, too. Actually, I'm going to do it from the inside. All right, now I'm going to turn this over. And of course, up here is going to be our door. So. I'm going to put the door board in here. And of course, if I want this to look the same front to back, I'm going to want this to overlap or come to the top edge of where this board is, right? So I'm going to put that there and just mark this board. That's where I'm going to cut it. So that's a real easy way to make sure that I have that same look. So I'll have the rough edge coming in line with the top of this. Alrighty, get my pencil out. It's kind of fun working without a tape measure <laughs> on this rough wood. That's just about the way you have to do it. All right, we'll get to cutting and put this up. Now, once the slats were on, it was time to build the door. This next video is with the hinges on the bottom, and I'm so sorry it's out of focus, but it will show you the tricks I used to match the slat spacing.
And there we have it, our doggy door. <laughs> Here's a close-up of the hinges after I moved them to the side. So, not a perfect fit but it will do for a rustic crate. And here's more details on how I did this, plus how I plan to mount the latch. Well, okay, we put it to the doggy test, and he wanted nothing to do with stepping over that door, even bonked his head up here trying to jump over it, right? So I moved the hinges. Um, I cut off these pieces here. I just took the one that was on the bottom, flipped this over, and cut them off even with this. Also, I had to take a little edge off of here too, so it's not rubbing at all anymore and I moved these hinges over to this side. And so it opens to the side down, which is the way it probably should have been built in the first place. But that's the thing about thinking up stuff in your head that you don't have any plans for, and you make it, you learn stuff, right? So that's going to work, and he's gonna be able to crawl right in there with no issues. And then that's also going to make my latch that I got work just fine, because now I can lay it across one side. This is the actual latch on the inside of that and it's going to make my corner latch work a whole lot better uh, for that too to make sure that he can't just push on this door because it's so easy to open right now too. So I also put it up on blocks. They're about two inches. I got two inch wheels which are actually two and a half inches tall. Put it on three inch blocks and he jumped right in there no problem. He just walked right in. So I am going to put this thing on wheels and reinforce the bottom of it and we'll get going and be finished on it be sure to look above or below this video for part five where we add the casters and if you're enjoying this build please subscribe to this youtube channel and come on over and visit me at heartwoodart.com for more easy builds and i'll see you in the shop